in the previous video we discussed about two logic gates they are or nor in this video we will discuss two more logic gates and logic gate nand logic gate the function of the end logic gate is the output is on only when all the inputs are on if any one of the input or all of the inputs are off then output is off the end block is represented with end symbol and it is having four inputs and one output we can use one input two input three input or four inputs if there is any unused input okay then the default state of that input is one if you see the logic table the output is off q is off when any one of the input is off this is input 1 2 3 and 4 and the output is on only when all the inputs input 1 2 3 4 4 inputs are on consider four inputs three inputs two inputs as per your requirement go to software take three inputs and take one output and take one logic gate which is end now connect again i want to use toggle switches as the input okay in the iwo board the toggle switch address is i3 i4 i5 that is why i am changing the addresses you can use any address if you are using simulation so go to tools transfer pc to logo select the first one so we are downloading the program to the plc Select the IP address. Click OK. IP address of the PLC. Click S. Yes. The program is downloading. The program is completed. Click S. Yes. And go to online mode. Select the PLC icon on the toolbar. this one again select ip click okay now it is connecting with the software see we are checking the end logic gate right if all the inputs are on then only the output is on input i3 is on still the output is off if you see the end logic one input is on remaining inputs are off the unused input is also on okay and make i4 on turn on the i4 input 4 is also on now two inputs are on and the third input is off that is why the end gate output is off that is why output is off make input 5 also turn on turn on the input 5 all the three inputs are on so the end gate output is on and the output q1 is also on see in the simulation window at the bottom the q1 is on if any one of the input is off then output is off so this is the end logic gate if you don't have the online test mode you can use the simulation okay for simulation go to tools and select the simulation okay 
you can make the inputs turn on or off and observe the output. Now click this arrow. So the online test mode will be off. Now we will check the NAND gate. Okay. So this is the NAND gate. The NAND gate is the inverse of the AND gate. Otherwise, we can also call it as not of end okay see the symbol is same the only difference is one bubble is there at the output this bubble indicates that it is a not gate so and plus not is equal to nand okay the nand equivalent circuit is the parallel circuit with break contacts okay and what is the operation of the NAND? It is inversely proportional to the AND gate. For NAND gate, if any unused input, then the unused input status will be taken as 1, logic 1. If all the inputs are off or any one of the input is off, then the output is on. Okay. If all the inputs are on, then the output is off. This is NAND gate. So go to software, take one NAND gate, again take one output, join the output. Now Click on the I3 and connect to the NAND gate one input. Similarly, I4 also NAND gate second input and I5 also NAND gate third input. You can adjust these lines so that you will have better clarity. Otherwise, you can use another method also just select this line okay right click and click separate okay similarly for the second one also select right click separate again this one right click separate Okay, this is another approach. So, uh, both are same methods. Uh, the cross wire lines, the overlapping lines will be eliminated. If there is a complex circuit, then this will be very much helpful. Okay. If you see the I3, this connector name block to 1. Right, B002 slash 1. This is the B002, and this is the first input. This is going to the block 2 input 1, which is I3 is connected here. That is why. And if you see this one, block 2 connector 2. And this is my block 2, and this is my connector 2. Okay, second input, I4. And this one is block 2 connector 3. So this is the block 2 and this is the connector 3, which is I5. So we can eliminate the lines. You can use this method also. Open the PLC and uh, download the logic. So you can click this icon directly. This is PC2 logo. Click on it. Select the IP address. Click OK. Click yes. Program is downloading.
click yes the program download is completed now go to the online mode click on this plc icon select the ip address click ok now we are in online mode okay let's check the nand gate for nand gate when all the inputs are on the output is off so we will make all the inputs on okay input 3 on 4 on 5 on output is off see the q2 output 2 is off see here for end gate all inputs on means output is on that's quite opposite okay so this one we are checking with the online test mode if you don't have the plc use the simulation I will meet you in the next video. Thank you.